Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video showing you the new Cold Steel Tomahawks versus the old Cold Steel Tomahawks. Both of these Tomahawks are the Norse Hawks, so let's get started. The first difference is that the new Cold Steel Tomahawks, or at least the Norse Hawk, came with this little plastic cover for the blade. It's a nice touch. Definitely not a permanent solution but definitely a decent temporary solution. And the next difference is that the new Cold Steel Tomahawks don't come as sharpened as the old ones. The old ones came with a decent edge on them. They weren't super sharp, but they were serviceably sharp. You could definitely make it sharper, but it was sharp out of the box. This new one isn't sharpened at all. And just to show you, Here's a paper cutting test, and as you can see, this will not cut paper at all. So now out of box, you have to sharpen these tomahawks for them to be able to cut, because as you can see, this tomahawk is not sharp at all. And the next difference is the paint finish that they use on the blade now. This is not the same finish that they had before. I actually do like this finish quite a bit better. The old one was a cheap, glossy black paint, and it just did not look good. It looked rather cheap and ugly, in my opinion. However, the top of the tomahawk doesn't seem to be painted at all, so that's definitely interesting. Also, they made the sticker smaller that says American Tomahawk Company. I like that because I don't like stickers on my tomahawks. So this is a smaller sticker to get off rather than the big sticker. They also changed the location of the set screw. Unfortunately, they're still using set screws, but that is another difference. They did change it. This is the old one right here. And the set screw is on the back as opposed to the new one that has the set screw on the side. It should be said that on the Cold Steel Pipe Hawk and Spike Hawk, the side is actually where the set screw has always been. But on the Norse Hawk, as I showed you on the older one, it used to be on the back. I do wish that Cold Steel would stop using these set screws, though, because these set screws do not serve their function, and they just end up gouging handles when the blade does want to come off. Also on the new Cold Steel Tomahawks they have a raised section right here on the back and the old ones do not have that. The handle fit seems to be a little bit better but it's still a little bit loose. I can feel some wobble on this Tomahawk handle and there is some space. It might be hard to see, but there is space. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to fix. The grain on the handle isn't great either. The grain should be running from edge to the back. However, this runs very much at a 45 degree angle. So that's pretty much it. That's the differences between the new Cold Steel Tomahawks and the old ones. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll see you next video. See ya.